Hello everyone, welcome again to another Jira Cloud tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to add issues to Epic in Jira. Now, when you are working in any Scrum or Kanban project, we have already understood that Epic is a high level piece of work or basically a big piece of work that can span into multiple sprints. Now, when an Epic can span multiple sprints it has multiple stories within it or can have multiple issues within that particular epic so when you create an epic you need to basically add issues within that epic as well and most of the time your epic within your project will have multiple stories that you need to add so for example we have taken here this sample epic okay if i go to this sheet so this epic is basically a portal registration of an e-commerce portal and these are some of the stories that uh, dummy stories that i have written so four stories need to link to that particular epic now how can you link or associate these stories to an epic within different projects in jira cloud that's what we are going to learn in this particular tutorial so let me go back to the project section of the Jira cloud and start with the classic scrum project. Okay, so if I go to the classic scrum project, there are multiple ways to link issues to an epic. All right, so the first and foremost way in the classic scrum project is simply when you are creating an issue, say for example, I'm creating a story then I can say I'll copy all the details of this particular story. I'll provide it in the summary and the description, uh, all of it. And then to link this particular story to an epic, I can simply choose this epic link. Okay, so if I click on this epic link, it will start showing me the epics that are there. If you can't find the epic, you can simply start typing the details of the epic and it will pop up the epic link that you want to associate this particular story to. So you can simply choose that and create this issue, new issue. So whatever new story will get created will have this particular epic link. So if I create this now, this story will get associated to that particular epic. So you can see epic link has been added in this particular story so this is the first way so basically whenever you are creating an issue at the same time in the classic scrum project you can associate it to an epic now many times you are creating the issues and you haven't say for for example you forgot to link to the epic or associate to the epic you can later associate the stories or the task to an epic as well let's see how you can do it say for example if I forgot to associate the epic then I can go to the roadmap I do to the, to the roadmap and in the roadmap you can see that you have you know all the epics that are listed here and if I open this portal registration you can see the uh, stories or basically the uh, issues that are associated to this particular epic within this particular epic listed here now if I go to the backlog okay in the backlog let me find a particular issue which is not linked to an epic now how you can figure it out whether a particular issue has been uh, associated to associated to an epic or not you can see this link here so whichever issue will be associated to an epic will have this link of the epic the detail of the epic shown here right so portal registration is being shown uh, if there is no link shown here, that means that particular story or task or defect is not associated to an epic. Usually defects and tasks we don't associate to the epic in the actual, uh, you know, practical scenarios in the projects. So most of the time, say for example, this is the story which is not associated. I can simply open the details of this story and then you can scroll down and if you click on show six more fields go to the bottom you will see epic link here you can simply click on the epic link and you can select the epic that you want to associate this story with and as soon as you associate it you can see the portal registration epic link appeared here against the story 
If you want to remove the epic link, it's also simple. Simply click it and remove, click on this little cross icon and it will remove the epic link from the particular uh, issue in your project, right? So that's the second way basically to associate the issues to an epic, all right? From the roadmap, what you can do is you can directly basically create the new issues within the epic, right? So this is the simplest way when you want to associate the issues within the uh, within a particular uh, epic. Say, for example, you have this portal registration epic and these are the four stories you want to create. The best way is to basically go into the roadmap or in the backlog and from the backlog go to the epics panel and from the epic panel you simply create the issues within that particular epic right so as soon as you will do it this epic link will by default be chosen already for you so any new issue that you create from this particular place will have that association to the epic already all right so that's the best practice basically when you are creating issues within Jira uh, and want to associate them to an epic. So this is all about the classic Scrum project. Let's go to the classic Kanban project and see what's the difference there. So if I go to the classic Kanban project, I can do the same thing as we did in the classic Scrum project. So I can click on create. While I'm creating the issue, I can associate that to the epic by simply selecting the epic link here, okay? or if the issue has already been created say for example i'm on the board and i want to see whether this issue has been associated to the epic you can see this is already associated because portal registration link is available there right so you can see the epic link here if you want to remove you can remove it from here or you want to add simply select the portal registration and that gets added so epic link gets added from the issue details as well okay so either from this detail or you want you can open the link uh, like this as well and you will see the epic link editing option on the issue detail page here as well okay so that's about uh, the kanban board then if we go to the next gen scrum okay so in next gen scrum it's a little bit different so uh, when i click on create okay so i can't see the epic linking option by default in the issue creation so there is linking issues possible but epic link is missing uh, and uh, by default this is not even available even after you select all the fields to be enabled okay so how you can do it in the next gen scrum project say for example you want to associate test story 2 to any epic test story 1 is already associated you can see the label epic 1 what you can do is you can simply either click on these three, three ellipses here and then you can add the parent okay so if you click on add parent it will open the epic option and you can select the epic to associate this issue with select the epic and click on done and you can see the epic label appeared on that particular epic from the board itself okay you can also do it from the roadmap so from the roadmap it's the easiest basically you can uh, select the epic okay and from directly uh, from the roadmap portal you can create the child issues when you are creating the issue directly within the roadmap select the story provide the details within the story you copy that and create the story which is basically associated to that particular epic right the next option is from the backlog so from the backlog you can you know directly create the epic and open the epic and you know view the details for example if i view the details of the epic then i can create the child issues from the epic itself so this is the epic one if i click on plus this issue that gets created here from this backlog epic you know details will get associated to this particular epic right that's another way now say for example i want to associate an issue to an epic 
that issue hasn't been associated yet so let me open issues without epic now say for example i want to associate test story 5 or say test story 3 to epic 1 as well what you can do from the backlog you can simply drag and drop on the epic section and the epic will be updated for the issues that you drag and drop okay so from the backlog this is also the easier option to add issues in the epic if you will create epic or issues here so for example test story 5 and new issue you want to associate you can again then drag and drop or go to the details of the issue you can simply click on this add epic link here right so this little uh, pencil icon and select the epic from here as well right so this is another place to add epic to the issues so for example you didn't drag and drop or you didn't you know uh, selected the epic then you can edit the details from the issue itself if i want to remove simply click on this pencil icon and you can remove the epic from there as well so you can see the association has been removed so this is about the next gen scrum project so from roadmap from the backlog right so there are multiple ways uh, even from the board you can basically you know select the issues so for example this is not associated and i can open the details of this particular issue and once the issue details open then i can you know add an epic on the issue detail so here you can see little pencil icon i can select that and add the epic in the issue detail page as well okay uh, going back to the next gen kanban so next gen kanban will be almost similar so here you can simply click on these three ellipses you can change the parent or say for example this story doesn't have the epic i can add the epic by clicking on add parent I can go to the issue detail and from the issue detail I can add the epic right or I can basically go to the roadmap and from the roadmap itself within the epic so for example below the epic I can create the new issue if the new issue is uh, you want to associate the new issue that you are creating to the epic you can simply create it within the epic from the roadmap okay if the issue has already been created and you forgot to link it to the epic you can simply select the issue and then add the epic from the issue all right so many ways multiple ways uh, to handle the association of the issue to the epic in different type of projects in jira so that's all for this tutorial how you can add or associate the issues to an epic in jira in different type of jira cloud projects hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching